What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, it was a very brief one. We managed to get ourselves the Rock Climb technique. We won our seventh badge. We got to see Barry lose. Thank you, thank you, whoever the commander was. Suck it, Barry. And uh, we did a little bit of a side quest, collecting some items from the Rock Climb technique. I know, it was just a brief episode. I get it, but in this episode right here, guys, we're going to be going straight to the Veilstone HQ of Team Galactic. Apparently, there is something, a big foot, and, uh, well, let's see, talk to this guy. There! You look like those antennae. I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antennae. And, hey, it's you! I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to the old country. Huh! I know nothing. I don't know anything about no storage key. Uh, he said something about a storage key and, well, look at this. Looker is right here. He's like, huh, you leave this up to me. The storage key for entering the Team Galactic hideout, it's right here. A frontal assault is not possible, but we can enter the, their hideout. Well, will you enter their hideout? You will, you will have your reasons, yes? Very well. Inside the Team Galactic warehouse, we will meet there. Prepare to prepare the best you can. I shall join you shortly. Okay, so I guess we have to go to the warehouse in order to get through this place. And well, I can't believe we missed out on this one. And look at that—we found ourselves another uh, rare candy. Huh? Wow, we've been we've been finding these guys like nothing. Okay, so let's go to the Team Galactic uh, warehouse and find ourselves a good old-fashioned uh, Team Galactic. Now, now that we got rock climb, we should probably have done this. And climb that, and here we found ourselves a full incense, which, uh, which if you actually breed a Snorlax with it, it can uh, actually produce yourself a a Mushlax. Okay, so here is the Team Galactic warehouse, and here is Looker, and he's gonna be like, Ah, hello! I've kept you waiting. I will use this storage key I have obtained from Team Galactic. Kachuk! Yes, it is opened. I will go on ahead, my friend. Do not expose yourself to danger. I will do everything I can. Okay, so first thing is first, we're going to be finding ourselves the Dust Stone. This right here can evolve a... what was it? A Murkrow into a Honchkrow and a Snow Runt, a female Snow Runt, into a, uh, into a Frost Lass like we saw in the last episode. And, well, as always, we're going to be battling everybody and their mamas because we can and we're gonna try and get our all our Pokemon up to level 40 right here so here we go Thunderfang for the win and Rosemont grows to level 35 alrighty bring it on and here we found ourselves a Pokeball so let's see we got a we got a zinc right there not bad okay so let's go right ahead and keep on taking on all these trainers right here and here is a Houndour, which is a Pokemon that I do not want to take on, so there we go. And Surf Attack for the win, and here comes a Murkrow, so let's go with Electro Star and go with a Thunder Fang. And that right there is victorious, yes. Okay, so I think we need to go towards the other area just to see if we can actually find anything else. And yes, we will be finding ourselves a Scientist right here. And we'll sell all Pokemon free in nature, and we'll own it all. Okay. Now, we do need a key in order to get to that area, so let's go right ahead and speed it through. Go straight into the Team Galactic Hall. And here, we're going to be finding this guy. He's like, I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't have a Pokemon. I'm the gruntiest of the grunts. It's my fault, though. I still don't know how to War Panels connect. Ah, oh, shoot. We have to go to War Panels. That is always fun. And, well, here we are in the Team Galactic Hideout, HQ. And, well, where there's warp panels, there's going to be a lot of Pokemon and a lot of Pokemon trainers. And here we go, defeating uh, a Team Galactic Grunt. Now, we have to go either left or right in order to get to this place. And we go to the right side, and we're going to be able to find ourselves the TM-49, which is always great. Now, go towards the left side. This will actually take us towards this room and go straight into this next area right here. I believe this is this is the place where you'll be able to find yourself a Master Ball. So let's go right ahead and keep on battling all these Pokemon. Giga Drain. That's right. We're going to win. Giga Drain. We're going to increase our levels like nobody else's business. And 
Well, let's go with Electro Star, and hopefully this Thunderfang right here wins it. Yes, it does. And here comes a Crow Gunk, so let's go with Togepri. And let's go with a Fly Attack. And that misses, of course. So here we go. Fly Attack for the win. And just like that, we are victorious. Now, if we go right here, this one will take us to this area. And I... Wow, okay. So we're going to be taking on... <laughs> One of these guys right here, a scientist, and that can't be good. A level 40 curlier, so let's go right ahead and go with the Metal Claw. And this Pokemon has been a quick, but look at that. Rosemon grows to level 36. Here comes Kadabra. Let's go with Toothless right here. Toothless, of course, going with a strength attack. And yes, we have defeated Fedric. Okay, alrighty. So there is a Pokeball right between his legs. And we found ourselves a dubious disc, which... You can use for a Porygon 2 to evolve into Poryz Porygon Z. Now, this is the backside or the layer, the other layer for, you know, the Team Galactic uh, HQ. And you'll find yourself a Sludge Bomb technique. And he's like, okay, to get into Master Cyrus' speech, uh, where was it now? At the Galactic Veilstone building? That's much I sure know or know about. Go through the door beside the reception counter. I think it was. Uh, what I do with that key? Anyways, where'd it gone? Well, I think it's right here. And look at that. We found ourselves a galactic key. So that was pretty. That was pretty easy. So let's go ahead and do that as a shortcut. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and speed it back through. And go right here. Yes, yeah, so we got some business to take care of. And let's see, this guy, yes, <laughs> he really doesn't know where the key is. Well, it's in my possession now. So let's go right ahead and battle some more trainers. And we're taking on a Stunky, which I obviously don't like. So here we go, guy number two with a Brick Break attack. And just like that, we win. So let's go right ahead, keep it going. And this guy's going to locate us. So we're going to be continuing our battles right here. And, yes, we're going to be at a huge disadvantage. So let's go with Toothless right here. And go with a Dragon Claw for the win. Here comes Stunky. Gaia number two. Let's go. Brick Break for the win. And just like that, we win. Alrighty. So if you go right here, we're going to be opening this key up. And this will open up to this location right here. Which is home to the TM21 Frustration. And we're going to be going straight forward. We're going to be going back all the way, huh? Okay, so it looks like to me... Actually, no, it looks... Okay, we still need to get to that portion right there. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can uh, go there or something like that. No, actually, I think you need to... Yeah, I think you need to go into... I think you need to go into the other room. Could be wrong. I don't know. Okay, so I think we're done with this area right here. Now that we now that we know where to go, we can just go here and speed it up a little. And now we can go into the into the actual headquarters since we have the key. And well let's go right. Oh, let's try and get out let's try and get out of here. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, guys, is we're going to heal up our Pokemon real quick, and then uh, we're going to continue on our adventure right here in the HQ. Alrighty, guys, so let's go right back, and here we are going back into the Team Galactic, Team Galactic HQ right here. And what you do need is... not that. That right there is the ex... or that right there is the, e the exit for you. So if you go down the middle right here... This will actually open up this part right here, and bam, there you go. Okay, so now you're going to be going into different levels and finding different kinds of uh, other stuff like Pokemon trainers and whatnot. So let's go right ahead and just beat everybody with a nice uh, speed attack right here. All speed. Here we go. Surf attack. This guy tried to poison me, and Rosemont grows to level 37, so let's go right ahead and take away Toxic Spikes for Toxic, and well... Here comes Golbat yet again. So let's go right ahead and go with a Thunderfang yet again. And there it is. Look at that. Okay, so bring on the next one. Okay. And of course, she's coming out with another... She's coming out with a, uh, a Golbat. Seriously. Why, guys, like, why can't you guys take a... Or why can't you guys pick other Pokemon? 
And just like that, Electrostar grows to level 36. Let's go with Toothless right here. I need to overkill, so here we go. Earth earthquake attack, and just like that, we win again. Alrighty, so before we go into any of those panels... Actually, we have to go in those panels. Let's see. Talk to this guy. And this guy's like, he won't let us, you know, disrupt the research. And here's Porygon 2, Holy Buckets. Let's go with a Giga Drain. Let's go with a Toxic. Now you are poisoned and crap baskets on a Crapsicle Stick. Okay, so here it goes with Electrostar, Thunderfang. And just like that, we win. Holy crud. Okay. Well, that showed me. That really showed me. So let's go right ahead and... Wow, we have six rare candies. I didn't realize that. Okay, so there we go. Re revive and... Well, let's see. Hyper Potion. There we go. And let's go right ahead and go straight into this part. And yeah, that is going to be saved for a little bit later because, yes, there is a big rally going on. And let's see what this says. It's a file report. The Pokemon Statues of Eterna. Would you like to read it? Yes. Pokemon Statue Plate, text number one. Stolen from the plate. The creation of Dialga, the giver of time. In laughter, there is tears, and likewise, it's with time. The same time flows on for is a blessing with the of the Alga. The blue text has been extracted for uh, using a high-tech uh, device made by the boss. Would you like to keep on reading? Sure. Pokemon statue number two. The birth of Palkia, the creator of parallel dimensions. Alive yet not alive. Everyone drifts in space. To arrive in the same universe, it's, it is a blessing of the uh, Palkia. The blue text has been extracted by the high-tech device. Yes, and well... It looks like uh, we got some legendary Pokemon up our, you know, we got some legendary Pokemon we have to worry about. And, well, go right here, and I think you'll be able to find another item right there. Yes. Here is the Max Revive. And, well, let's go straight back. And let's go up top right here. And right here, you'll be able to find yourself a Green Shard. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go to the little rally that's going on right here. Okay, and Looker is waiting for us, and he's going to be like, Psst, here, over here! The gathering of the te Team Galactic, or the gathering of the Team Galactic, what is the meaning of it? And, well, as you guys can see, Team Galactic Cyrus is, wow. Fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name is... As I appear to you today is Cyrus. This world of ours is crude one. In a word, it's incomplete. It has been and always will be a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete. Because we are all lacking, we fight and we, we maim. It is ugly. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete, I hate it. With my entire body and being. The world should be complete. The world must change. Then who will change it? Me, Cyrus, and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. Together we pour over myths and expose their secrets. Together we, ca we capture legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of dreams is within our grasp. Understand it, fellow members. My long-held dream world is on the verge of becoming reality. All those headed to, team, uh, to Mount Coronet and all those who remain here, though our missions may differ, our hearts beat as one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic. Ooh, oh wow. Master Cyrus is the greatest! And just like that, we had the, 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 the gathering of the Juggalos, I guess. Whew! So that was Cyrus, the boss of Team Galactic. Quite the performance, no? Mesmerizing for only 27-year-old. Huh. But to make the world a Team Galactic than none other? It is preposterous. So much so that it makes my head spin. A new world? What is that? And what is the incomplete world? Very well. To, investig to investigate such matters is the job of the International Police, of which I am a member in a good steed. And it is my job, therefore. We shall part ways here. Take extra care, my friend. Huh. Okay, so it looks like to us we need to continue on right here, and well, this this play this panel will lead us straight to the top, and well, you can actually heal up your Pokemon. Not really, you can find a Pokedoll right here, and you can actually heal up your Pokemon right now. So here we are, fully healed, ready to go, and we're gonna go straight to the top, 
And of course, there's gonna be some Pokemon trainers waiting for us. So let's go ahead and double battle these Pokemon trainers. And look at this, two of the same Pokemon, okay. So let's go Giga Drain, and there we go. Brick Break for the win, Giga Drain, Krogonk. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon with Poseidon, and go with this one. And let's go straight for a Surf Attack. And just like that, we are victorious. Now I do feel as though that uh, Surf Attack is going to hit everybody, so I'm just going to refrain from that. And Rosemont grows to level 38. Let's continue on right here with a Pluck Attack and a Brick Break. And just like that, we have defeated both Team Galactic Grunts right now. And there goes her promotion. So, let's go right ahead, move on. And here we have three panels. I am going to take all three, just to see where it leads us. This one leads us to this part where we're going to be able to find ourselves a protein. And here we go with the middle one. And this one will lead us to this portion, which will enable us to find the max elixir. And, well, it looks like the third panel is going to be leading us to the place that we need to go. So, here we go, going on to this part. And, well, look at this. We're going to be going to the very top. And as you guys can see... We got to be very, very prepared for this one right now because, yeah, I don't trust this guy. So, let's go ahead and switch to Toothless. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon just a little bit. And not that one. And let's go right ahead and click. There we go. And Cyrus is like, so, you come. You heard my speech, I take it. <laughs> a big lie, of course. It's true insofar as my intention is to create a new world. But that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I seek an entirely new world, and solely for myself. If not, I would never be complete in, the, in a perfect world. You've seen my minions of Team Galactic. You yourself must know that they are informally or uniformly useless and incomplete. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Uxie, Mesprit, and Alza, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I couldn't care less. It it will save me the trouble of disposing them. But I must say, you are remarkable. You are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokémon have nothing to do with you, do they? But still, you you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pity, uh, pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of a, of the weak and faulty human heart. You are compelled to come here by such a vacuous, vacuous. I can't even say anything right. What the hell? Sentimentality. I will make you regret pain. Heed your heart. Hmm. He has a long, extensive vocabulary, and I am going to beat him down with this. So here we are, guys, taking on a Team Galactic Cyrus, and he's going to be coming out with a Sneasel. And to my demise, he's going to hit me with a freaking, uh... Yeah, he's going to hit me with that. So let's go right ahead and not go with this guy. Let's go with Togepri. Flamethrow attack. And there we go. We're getting hit again. Okay. And Brick Break for the win. There we go. And he's going to be coming out with a Crobat. So yes, it looks like to me I'm going to have to start increasing the strength of my Pokemon right here. So there we go. And just like that... We have defeated this Pokemon again, and here he comes out with a Haunch Crow, level 46. And that right there will hit it pretty hard. So let's go again with another Faint Attack. Okay, so let's go with Poseidon. Rock Climb for the win, and it is confused. So let's go with a Surf Attack. Surf Attack again, and just like that, we have defeated good old buddy Cyrus. Look at that, level 43. And Rosemond has grown some levels too. Interesting. And quite curious. Hmm. I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are built or are but mere, mere illusions. And like all illusions, they fade over in time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you'll ever I doubt you'll ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous and to come alone. This is your reward. And here we get ourselves a Master Ball. The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. 
It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. But it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. Okay. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the war panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. I will ascend the mountain to its peak where destiny awaits me. It is there where I will create my new world. You talk too much, homeboy. You talk way too much. So, yep, it looks like to me we need to go straight to the next room. And, well... That's right, guys. I am the king of the mountain. I am king. That's right. Vote for me. Okay, so, um, it looks like we have to go into this war panel right here in order to talk to these people. And finally, it will be quiet. Somewhat quiet. It kind of sounds like a spaceship. So, let's go right ahead and revive some of our Pokemon because, seriously, man. Okay, so here we go. Electric. Electro Star. And... Let's go with a Hyper Potion to this guy. You can just it, it just... it just sounds like a spaceship, guys. It just... it creeps me out sometimes. And... well, let's go right here. Let's go with guy number two. And let's go right ahead and finish these guys off. So, here we have a full restore. And that will come in handy. As you guys can see, these scientists have no Pokemon and they will not battle you. They are just forced against their will to, you know, create the red chain that... We'll eventually open up everything. As you guys can see, Uxie is sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with its eyes shut. Okay. So. You. You came all this way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new. I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come go freely? We Team Galactic take all that we need and eliminate that we don't. Or we not. But anyway. You've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. Hmm. Okay. So here it is, guys. Taking on another Team Galactic Grunt, or Commander Saturn. And he's going to be coming out with his Pokemon, Golbat. So here we go. Strength attack. Oh, wow. Why did I do that? I do not know. So here we go. And come on. Finish him off. Just like that. And here comes a Bronzor. So let's go straight to Togepi. And go straight for the flamethrow attack. And come on, finish him off. Just like that. Here comes Toxicroak. We're going to continue on our battle right here. Let's go with a fly attack. And almost defeat this guy. So, as you guys can see, my Pokemon are way under level right now. Which we need to train. And Togepi finally grows to level 40. Rosemont grows to level 39. And just like that, we have defeated Team Commander uh, Saturn. He is surprised. He doesn't like us. Gah! What makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with these three Pokemon. Press the button on the machine to set them free. Alrighty, and who is this guy? Hmph, <laughs> Saturn. And even Cyrus fall to the mere child. Team Galactic's state of affairs is worrying. That plan of Cyrus to top Mount Coronet too? Who knows if it will work? Hmph, <laughs> perhaps another option needs to be considered. One benefiting the genius of Charon. Okay. So, we're going to be pressing these button, and well... All these Pokemon are set free. They are gone, and our boss crafted a red chain from the crystals he took from the three Pokemon. The chain, the red chain, is what he needed to shackle something at Mount Coronet. It's also apparent, apparently needed for creating something. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning up there? Okay. Alrighty, so I guess that is pretty much it right there, huh? Okay, so I guess we have uh, completed this whole episode by beating everybody in record time. This would have taken us like about an hour. No joke, guys. About an hour. And after, you know, freeing the Pokemon, you are able to go right here in the green and get out freely just like that. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so the next episode next week, you guys will be seeing me go up to Mount Coronet to take care of business. You know, but off screen, yes, I do need to. I do need to train my Pokemon a little because, god dang, we got a we we took a butt whooping and all that stuff. Anywho, guys, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being uh, you know, for being supportive and everything. Thank you guys for all the views and for you know making fun of me and all that stuff and all my suffering. In the next episode, we will be going to Mount Coronet to save the Pokemon world, including Sinnoh. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.